Okay, so this is a Volvo four-wheel drive that came in for um, some service work and then required a tear down for inspection. What do you see? So normally when you're looking at something like this for signs of impact, you're looking at the props. There was some minor impact on the props. You, you can see, a little, see a little bit of scuffing there. Nothing too much and some sanding down. If you had a heavy impact on the Volvo, this is the shear point between the upper and lower. You can see it's got a natural groove in there, and that is meant to be the shear point that breaks if you do impact something with the lower unit so you don't damage the upper. Okay, so now one thing that I am seeing right away is, is um, corrosion? Yeah, so this is an oil-filled cavity with gear oil. So the fact that you've got corrosion rust on this point doesn't go well. The other aspect is, yes, it turned. And I can show how... So you reach down what... in there, which Let's is the upper this. bearing, and yeah. when you start pulling out metal gear teeth, that's never good. And now, Dan's not the technician that was working on this. Um, Derek was on this one. And he had mentioned that those shavings are likely going to be all throughout. Well, they are, they are. Um, yes. When he pulled the drain plug out, it was just a ball of metal and there was no gear lube. So no gear lube means no lubrication. It gets hot, bearings expand, seize, stop turning, create metal shards. Metal on metal. And then it just goes from there. Okay, so this is the lower unit. Yeah. Now it, it does still turn, which is pretty impressive. However, <laughs> the upper less so. <laughs> You pull the dipstick, you can see discoloration. There's a flat worn, which is where you're actually measuring the oil. And, but want. that's meant to be there. Yeah. yeah. But you can see the discoloration in that. It should all be this metal color. And then even at the very top, you can see corrosion there on the dipstick. So, so there's been water in this. There's been moisture, water present. For quite a while, not just. Your splines, which go into the engine, U-joints. Now, why would there be rust on here? What's causing this? And th this, is this discoloration or is that normal? Uh, that's part of the heat treatment, but your okay. gimbal bearing rides right here on these O-rings. So everything from here forward is actually inside the engine bilge. So this would be at the rear of the engine. But is that okay that there's rust? Um, it's a little bit or of surface rust, normal? but it's okay. I mean, not perfect, but it's there. This, so this is, what is your input gear, which should be like this. And what's happened is the engine horsepower coming through the input shaft, the drive is locked up and this has essentially sheared this gear apart. So not just that, but if you spin it. You can see yeah. how the bearing race has gotten hot. I mean, you can't smell it on video, but it smells like burning. Oh yeah. And then when you look on the inside Sorry, here. Sorry, can you just see in here again? Because it's not supposed to look like that at all. Like, is this even? This looks, there's that damage there's all in here. on here. Oh. So that gear is actually splined on to that shaft. It's now fused itself. And then this is a bolt that you set the rolling torque with to set this bearing tension. And that bolt has sheared off and it has been chewed up. Oh, no. On the inside. So you can see your, your clutch where you're shifting. So forward, reverse. But you can see those gears have been chewed up. The housing inside has been chewed up all around. So unfortunately, the housing is also oh, ruined. No. But you can also see the condition of the oil that was in there, where you can see the water moisture discoloration. <gasps> and you can see a burnt and just ruined that oil is. So that's what it was running through. So unfortunately, with the bearings being ruined, the gears being ruined in both the upper and the lower, this oval forward drive is going to be getting an upper and lower replacement. These are the props that belong on that Volvo forward drive that we were looking at earlier. Mm -hmm. so, so this is the rear. This is your, this is your forward, forward facing. Forward facing. Oh, because it's forward, see, yeah. There's, there is a minor impact here, and that would have carried over tiniest little bit, and this one's pretty much clean. But then when you look at the uh, the aft prop, again, you can see that 
same damage. But now again, this is forward drive. Yep. So, but that one is facing aft. This is the aft prop facing forward. Facing forward. Yep. Yes, yes, okay. So that's, yeah, one blade, two blade, and three blade. So, but really looking at these, you still don't feel that this would have been the cause of, yeah, yeah the initial. You wouldn't get the burning. Right because it would have happened quickly. So that's a long standing. This would have been a, a shear, an instant failure, an impact. And a, that didn't happen. A bent propeller shaft or something like that, and it doesn't have any of that. Yeah. All right, thank you.